welcome to the vlog. You join me midway through the shot. Um, I had to grab it quick because the light was nice and soft on this uh, sort of gnarly tree, and it still is quite soft. It is obviously gradually getting harsher. I really like this shot. You've got like um, lovely shape and textures in this bark. It's got ivy growing on this tree, which is sort of leaning down and dipping into the water. Branches come in like a fork, like fingers. And then we've got light off to the right, top right, which is sort of coming in across the image. And then um, at the moment, all the, I don't know what it is, but lots of blossom or um, it's all sat in the water and it's really white. And that's just creating a bit more interest down in the bottom right of the frame. And yeah, it's just really, really nice. Uh, it is quite a high down range. It's telling me that I'm losing my blacks. So what I might do is put my exposure to a third of a second at f16 because I want sharpness throughout my frame. Still telling me I'm losing my blacks. I'm going to take test shots and then I'm going to take um, bracketed exposures just so I capture all that dynamic range. Yeah, it's not a bad start, not a bad start at all. getting drawn to this light here. Let me increase exposure so you can see me. Keep getting drawn to this light here. But gotta be wary of little family having their breakfast. Daily routine I think morning routine of cleaning. The backlit willow trees over there, I think they're willow trees look gorgeous. Um, probably would have looked nicer a bit earlier on in the morning but I might have a little go at that. I can't get too close because mum and dad keep hissing at me. Found another shot. Photographing a lovely willow tree, the one I just talked about. Um, I do apologise for the shadow, but the sun is very harsh now and it's obviously hitting me right in the face. There's two little um, ducks. Couldn't tell you what they are. Uh, <laughs> I do apologise, but they're just swimming in my foreground. I have got a real harsh band of light in my foreground, a real big white band, which I like the layers but I have to try and control that, so I'm bracketing. Around a thirtieth of a second, I've got one third over, what my light meter's saying, and then the two way under. And that's just giving me enough information down in this white sort of band at the bottom wall. Like I said, this um, blossom that's sat on the water, reflecting all that harsh light, and it's incredibly hard to uh, to control but like I said these two ducks have just gone into my foreground which is really nice obviously getting them to perform is uh, not the easiest especially when you're bracketing um, and they're feeding down in the water so it's hard to it's very hard to get them exactly where I want them On the other hand, it's very rewarding. It's hard to control, but very rewarding when you get it right. These are just sort of typical English 
lake sort of shot. Obviously you've got the fence in the background, so you, you've got the element of man-made, man-made element um, mixed with the, with the nature. It's uh, yeah, I love I love this sort of, these sort of shots, and I miss shooting water. And these little uh, signets are uh, really, <laughs> really entertaining to watch. But I am trying to be respectful. They've got used to me now. They're not hissing at me, which has meant I can edge a little bit closer, but not too much. They're not bothered by me at all. The signets don't couldn't give a monkeys. It's just mum and dad, but they seem to be fine now. Yeah, so I think uh, I think I've done the best of that. <clears throat> Mum and Dad are out of the water now. The little ones are drying themselves off, so I think it's about time I cleared off and left them to it. Excited to get round this lake and see uh, see what the crack is around a bit further. Might better find another shot. Fingers crossed. The light is very harsh now, so it could be going minimal. I'm actually quite literally back where I started. Um, I've had such a blast this morning. I took some dip shots that I've never took before, and some. It's nice to get back next to some water. Uh, I really have missed shooting water, um, and this lake offers so much. Uh, this is going to be my new location, my new favourite location for shooting water. And the wildlife here is absolutely in abundance. Um, we got lucky a couple of times, so we'll put some images up. Um, in a minute, uh, that are not landscapes, they're more wildlife, or well, they are wildlife. And I missed a couple as well, so next time I come here, if I can take something from this video, you can take something from this video, is make sure you're prepared, make sure you have your camera for any opportunity, uh, because you never quite know what might come around the corner. So I hope you like my shots, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, something slightly different to Woodland, and uh, I will see you next week. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Ciao.